Senator, Senator, excuse me, Senator Bradley of the all-white United States Senate said, we can't get there unless we all go there together. Sorry, none of us are where he is. That's number one. Number two, you're making an, a moral appeal mm -hmm. to a country that doesn't have a moral conscience. Right. The question becomes that when white people feel serious and angry and upset about abortion, they come out in the thousands up to the millions to say, this is what we believe about abortion. Where is the white outcry against white racism that murders African people all around this entire globe? It doesn't exist. So who are these white good people? I want to meet them. I want to I see know them. I, I, I know feel it's not enough. But that's and, 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 that, that and, might be all we can get. Yeah, few, no, no, and guess what? I don't work with all I can get. Yeah. What I work with is what, what I have. Listen, you have to have some confidence yes. in the power of African people amongst ourselves to establish a foundation. We have. I mean, no, we have it. We have, we have, have utter chaos in our cities, and you've got There's to no see black that. Institutions we you can, can have a program. I black say, I'm not saying we've built a lot of institutions, sure. and those institutions have not been effective. The majority of millions of African youth in this country are dying mentally, dying spiritually, dying emotionally, dying academically. And you may have a program, Mr. Brown may have a program, but what we got to talk about is an American government that traps millions of African people who don't go to your program, don't go to Brown's program, millions of African people, not only here, but all around the world. And if we are not honest enough to say who are our friends, who are our enemies, to know what a friend is, to know what an enemy is, we will constantly be trying to get into people's parties, to shake our butts with them, to get them to like us, and that's not the question. The question is, what can we build amongst ourselves to secure ourselves from our enemies so that we will be able to survive into the future?